Welcome everyone. So I've been getting a lot of comments about how to install OpenPilot. So I decided rather than asking everybody in comments, uh, I decided to make a video on it. Before we jump into the installation guide, one thing I quickly want to mention that if you guys like my content, do consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video if you really have my channel. Now let's get started. So first thing you need to do is grab your comma too and also grab a USB-C cable that comes inside the box and plug it in right about here. So I have my cable plugged in already. So I'm gonna just put it in and you should see a switch on top of it, power up button, hit that and your device should start booting up. Once your device is booted up, the first thing you should see on the screen is getting started. So you need to hit the continue to set up button. Um, next window should show you two options. So choose a software to install, dash cam software and custom software advanced. Um, so this is the one you're gonna choose, custom software advanced. So, so this is the software you're going to choose. But before we do that, we should connect to the Wi-Fi. So it will scanning, start scanning the Wi-Fi. So as soon as you're connected, hit continue and then select custom software. This is the one you want. Hit continue and then um, grab OpenPilot um, GitHub link. I will leave a link below in the description so you can just copy and paste it. So the URL to get the OpenPilot software is OpenPilot. dot comma dot ai so this is the link definitely i will leave it in the description below but you can look at how it right by here so once you have that hit a green button install software and it should start downloading the software So now that we have our software installed, so you should review the terms. Um, I have done that before, so I don't need to do it, but you should definitely go through the um, terms and conditions. Basically, it tells you um, what Coma Pilot is and how it works in your car and like about your safety. Um, OpenPilot performs the function of adaptive cruise control and lane keeping system designed to use in a uh, compatible motor vehicle. While using OpenPilot, it is a responsibility to obey all laws, traffic rules, traffic regulations, um, and stuff like that. So make sure you go through it. OpenPilot does not make your vehicle autonomous or capable of operations with, without the active monitoring of a driver. So you are the responsible person or open pilot is basically assistant to you it's not going to take over the car so you you have to keep watching the lanes you have to keep watching the traffic and make sure you are aware like whatever is going around the around the car so once you read all the instructions um, and then go down here it should turn blue accept terms and conditions um, this barcode will allow you to pair it to your account. Um, as you can see, it says successfully paid to account because I have already done that. So once you have this, grab your phone um, and download. Let me show you the app. Just give me one second. So once you're on the screen, go to the Play Store and Type in comma AI 
and this is the app you should download as you can see I already have that on my uh, phone I can just open it and you can see I have my car and it's parked wherever it is so you should download it okay so once you have the app downloaded pair your account and then hit continue Uh, welcome to open pilot alpha now that you all set up the important to understand functionality and limitation of open pilot as alpha software before testing so hit training if you want to skip the training part you can uh, i do recommend going through the video and also when you install the software uh, going through it but you can skip it if you want so basically it tells you open pilot is advanced driving system system and it will tell you like what it will do and what it will not do so you your attention is required to drive so you have to agree to all these conditions so I'm just gonna say yes 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 and then it will take you here like um, explaining open pilot using multiple sensors to see the road ahead so basically this tells you that open pilot uses two forms of signals um, the first is whatever sensor your car already have and the camera from the device so my car has a radar and the camera that is placed right about here so it uses two sensors to like predict the road so you say camera for the device that shows you a vision algorithm blah 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 and all this stuff you can just read on your own select path to continue hit that select lead car indicator hit that and then engage open pilot so uh, basically how you set up you set up a cruise and then you set the speed limit and you're good to go so you tap set and so when open pilot is engaged you must always pay attention uh, open pilot monitors awareness with 3d facial uh, reconstruction and pose distracted drivers are alerted then disengaged um, from open pilot until corrected so basically you have to pay attention to the road all the time otherwise open pilot will disconnect so once you have that hit select face to continue uh, lane change is a new feature so the way lane change works is you signal whichever way you want to take a turn and check your surrounding and confirm uh, it is safe to change the lane and then you select um, so for example if you want to take a left signal hit a left signal look at your surrounding and open pilot and then just uh, like tap on your steering wheel and it should um, change the lane automatically for you so once you've done that so it's telling me to hit that done that so to perform a lane change like i mentioned before so continually observe your surroundings while gently nudging the steering wheel towards your desired lane the combination of turn signal and wheel nudge will perform prompt um, open pilot to change lanes so like i mentioned before same thing so select steering wheel and open pilot will stop driving when paddle is pressed uh, so whenever you hit a brake paddle or speeding paddle it will def stop the open pilot disengage it um, select lights to continue disengage open pilot so basically how you disengage the pilot open pilot is um you either hit um brake paddle or a speed on a speeding paddle uh, and then it will disengage it pretty easy so i'm just gonna hit that that's it congratulations you have completed open pilot training so the guide the guide can be replayed at any time from device setting to learn more about open pilot read the wiki and join the community at discord.com.ai that's it guys so now you have completed the training and your open pilot is ready to go so all you have to do is just finish, finish training and there you go right now i'm in auburn is telling me how many drives i've done before how many miles i've driven so far in this last week and how many hours i've done in the last week all time so so far i have driven about 1800 miles on it 64 hours and these are my points so in the next video um, i'm thinking of installing the device onto my car and making a walkthrough uh, video so my car is toyota prius so if you guys are interested um just keep watching and um, subscribe to the channel so you get notification whenever i release a new video and thank you so much for watching i'll see you next one